Turn Signal with Kim Troby. The shooting death of abortionist George Tiller is all over the pro-life blogs and social networking sites. One of the biggest questions is, what's the biblical pro-life perspective on this violent event? I spoke with Carrie Gordon Earl of Focus on the Family Action. I don't think the shock really has, has uh, settled with people. It was shocking news to find out that this man was murdered in the foyer of his church. Um, it, it has to be condemned. Um, it, it is the sort of act that you hear about and you just, um, you almost go into shock. So it must be condemned. Um, and condolences must be given to his family. That this was not only tragic and violent, but totally unexpected. Um, it, it, it is something that the pro-life community has always condemned. Uh, focus on the family is long on record as condemning any kind of violence against uh, abortionists or clinics. As much as we hate abortion because God hates the shedding of innocent blood, uh, that's very much what, what we have to stand for in every venue as well. So from a biblical perspective, we are a people of peace um, in the pro-life movement that we want to change the laws. We are working hard to change the laws, but you don't take the law into your own hands. Um, violence is never the answer. Killing is never the answer to stop abortion. In the same way, killing is never the answer to an unintended pregnancy. And there's violence on both ends of this, uh, with the death of Tiller as well as uh, with the abortions that happen every day in this country. And the violence has to stop, the killing has to stop. And this is just another extension of that. How should we think about the man uh, who is in custody now? How do we deal with that whole issue? Mm -hmm. Well, most certainly we don't know the facts yet, uh, but this is not reflective of the pro-life movement in any way. I've been involved in the pro-life movement for more than 20 years and have never met anyone who uh, would advocate violence against someone else in order to stop abortion. What's interesting is I know that in the, in the city of Wichita, I was talking to a family member of mine that lives there, and he said that just last week in a Bible study he's in, uh, they were praying for George Tiller. And so there have been people who've been praying for him, and I anticipate they're going to be praying for this man who's now in custody, uh, again, because it's, it's the prayers and the presence of God that's going to change this issue of abortion, not guns and more violence. We encourage you to pray for the Tiller family as they go through this difficult time. For further coverage on the story, go to citizenlink.com.